Hey, Flats Class YouTube, it's Captain CA here, and today's lesson, tarpon fishing. That's right. It's summertime. It's one of the big targets for many of you, and uh, I was fortunate enough to help my buddy Rick Harnish uh, break in that little Mercury Pro XS115 back there. It's the command thrust. He's like, could you put some hours on it for me? I was like, you bet I can. <laughs> so we did some tarpon fishing, and uh, it turns out Rick got his personal best. So I'm going to get some of my tarpon gear out of the boat here. And uh, you guys go watch the action. I'll be back here in a little bit to talk more about what we were utilizing. Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. seen them catch a damn free swimming tarpon before. They're pretty impressive to me. He's playing with something now. Must be a younger shark. There's a lot to see while you're out there tarpon fishing. It's just not boredom. It's not hours of boredom, contrary to what most of us believe that it's pretty sedentary and there's nothing going on. If you're paying attention, you see some pretty amazing things as you just saw. Well, when things do break loose, they get exciting and they get exciting pretty quick. You'll see. I think he's just gonna jump. Be a while. <laughs> we got some friends over here. <laughs> Still don't see him. I'm trying to let you fight him from the dead boat now. No one around us, close proximity. Maybe lay that rod down a little left, see if you can steer him. Yep, he's still, you he got him. Now go back to the right a little bit. Now back to the left.
this. Battle's about 40 minutes old now almost. You're hanging in there. Not pulling as hard as he was, that's for sure. back into the tide and he's dragging my boat into the tide so it is working. working. Call this one hour tarpon. Storing Rick Harnish. I'm on boat. Not much farther. Cut the distance down and then we'll get them up tight again. Reel down and go right a little bit. Turning them. There you go. Reel down to them. As soon as he turns, just pour the gas, pour the coal to him, buddy. He's just kind of slinking off in the tide. I know you want to know how it all turns out, and I promise you, I'm going to send you right back to the skiff in just one minute. Let me explain what we're using here. All right, this is my basic, okay, if you will, beach tarpon outfit, where I don't expect the fish to sound in a pass or I'll catch them in a big deep bay. This is for stuff when you're fighting tarpon in under 12, 15 feet of water. So it's adequate for that and it makes the battle pretty interesting. Most of all, it's light enough gear uh, so that you can cast a small live natural bait or you can throw artificials, which is really important because typically early first light, we're throwing artificials. Then we move through the brightest part of the day and we use natural bait. That might be thread fins, crabs, or or, uh, or pinfish even. Um, and then as we get toward the back half of the day, the sea breeze picks up, the sun gets low, and we're out there late enough, we go right back to throw in artificials again, um, trying to get some distance and catch fish that we don't see as fast. But when the water's crystal clear high sun, hard to beat natural bait. And in this case, uh, as you can see how clean the water is, you can see everything perfectly. We opted for a little bit lighter stuff. So I only have 30 pound Power Pro Super Slick on this 8000 Saragossa. This is my go-to reel, always has been for the last couple of years from Shimano. The 8000 Saragossa does a great job. I mated it up with the Terramar Double X. This is the eight foot extra heavy. And I'll try to rotate this so that you can see the model number right there, guys. Okay, take a quick snapshot of that. I like to run a long leader, four and five feet a leader, sometimes even six feet a leader. I use a bimini twist um, to the leader, and then I tie uh, a no-name knot. This is an 11-turn no-name knot at a float of any type. This is just a pinch-on one here where you just have two pegs, it's pegged on. You can adjust the height um, based off the water that you're fishing. 
I only use a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. That's all I use, just 50 pounds. Um, it gets me more bites, it really does. Uh, I lose more fish, but it gets me more, more bites. And then I snell, if you will, I snell all these hooks. These are trocar hooks right here. And this is the six aught variety. If I've got smaller natural bait, I will drop down to the five aught variety. But this is the basic setup to have a lot of success like you're seeing Rick have right here. Back to the skiff. Beast is almost beat. And Rick too. He's almost beat as well. Good equipment right here. He's turning them now. I'm gonna surfboard them here in a minute. There's gonna always be that last little jump. Be ready for it. Be ready, they like to throw their head one more time. Reel right down to the water, right where the tip touches it. Now lift. Yep. Yep, reel it all the way to the water tip. Put the tip on the water again, all the way down. There you go, now big lift. Now you're gaining like arm's length at a time. Reel all the way down again. There you go. Now it's just reeling all the way to the cork and all the way back up again. A couple of those. We'll surfboard this big girl. Leader touch, reel down all the way, all the way, all the way. Just gonna dive under the boat. Hell yeah, brother. Nice job. Great job. That is a pig. Got to the fork, right to the fork. There you go. Right to the fork. About where? Right there, right there. Hold your thumb, grab it. You got it right there. You got it right there. Right there is perfect. Yeah, two inches. So it's 73. Because I'm 74 because I was two inches short. Yeah. Girth. Mine was 72 and 34, but that's got more girth than mine had. Got to do it on the chart to see what it was. I'm gonna say if you're 74 by 39 something, that's that's a pretty fat fish. It's gonna be. I'll bet I'll bet it's oh, 150 plus. Go forward. Plus. You ready? Rick, how tired are you? Ha <laughs> ha. <I'm ready laughs> Can't even talk. Ready for some magnesium. <laughs> it's truly rewarding as a guide fishing over 20 years now with clients um, to be a part of their personal best, whether it's speckled trout, flounder, redfish, snook, or tarpon here with uh, my good friend and client, Rick Harnish. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video. You learned a little bit about uh, the tackle that is employed to accomplish these types of things. And uh, I have to give a big, uh, a big high five, if you will, to Captain Jeff Vickers, who saw us hook the tarpon and he shadowed us for one hour. It took an hour to land that fish. And then he stayed with us through the whole revival process of getting the fish, well, it's fins underneath it, if you will, and uh, shot some of the video that you actually saw on this, some of the outboat video and stuff, and shared it with me. So uh, big thanks to, to Captain Jeff Vickers, and uh, big thanks to, to Rick Harnish uh, for, uh, you know, all the things that he does for Flats Class. He's, he's one of the loyal um, followers of Flats Class, and he's been a great client for me for the last decade. And, and thankfully, I've been a part of a lot of his personal bests over time. So, uh, although I think this one's going to cost him a little bit of money, I, rumor has it Rick is ordering his new wave uh, mount of that tarpon to go up in his house. <laughs> so, so I think he's going to drop about two grand on that. Sorry, Rick. <laughs> 
If you like what you see here on Flats Class YouTube, because we do things a little bit differently, it's not all fishing tips, it's not all product review. We, we do adventure stuff, um, we take you places on field trips, and we even post our podcasts on our television episodes right here on Flats Class YouTube. So if you, enjoy, if you truly enjoy what you see, um, give us the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and tell your friends. We want to be the authority on inshore fishing for you. Till next time, I'm gonna have to re-rig a few rods now that uh, Rick stretched the line out and get ready for next week's trips.